not working on yourself, you're not giving yourself the shot you deserve at life. Now, mentally, self-harm really only comes from one place, and that's from within. It's only you damaging yourself. Now, if we know that, we know that you can damage yourself, but we also know you can help yourself. You can't allow yourself to accept these negative thoughts. You can't invite them and say they belong there. Let's warm you up your chair and bring you tea. Immediately as they come creeping in, they should be shut off. The way you talk to yourself is essentially the way you train your brain. Now, this is really scientifically proven in a multitude of studies, and you can look that up if you don't believe. Okay, so you have choices on how to deal with a bad situation. You can eventually ignore it and let it keep come creeping in and destroy you, or you can choose to do something about it. You have to understand, if you're not in the right mental space to deal with it right now, it's okay. It's just another part of your life and it's another season of life. If you're sad, doesn't mean you'll always be, right? Now, everything in life has a beginning and an end. The yin, the yang, the night, the day, the summer and the winter. And when these things happen, we can't really do anything about them. But we can prepare our minds to be the strongest they can be when bad situations come creeping in. Good. You have to work on yourself endlessly. No one else will do this work for you. You're the only one that will invest in yourself. To invest in yourself first so what you have inside of you can shine. If you're a bit younger, you need to understand that being strong probably won't happen right now. But realize that a solid mentality will creep in. But it can't happen if you don't take care of yourself and if you don't address your issues. In a world full of people and things trying to shut you down, you can't be amongst them. You have to look at yourself truthfully and not in pity, not as someone who's broken, but the reality of your situation. You really have to confront your issues in an objective way. Now that brings me to act two how to talk to yourself. This is perhaps one of the most underrated subjects, but you have to talk to yourself. Let's say there's a situation that's bothering you, right? Imagine you're a friend with a bar and that friend starts bugging you and being very annoying, but you're like, okay, whatever, forget about it. You go home, but that feeling lingers inside of you and you actually feel annoyed about the entire situation for whatever reason, right? Address it immediately, because if you don't, It'll keep lingering inside of you until it comes out in another form, like sadness. Ask yourself these forms of questions. Why didn't I say something? Well, because I felt awkward, I didn't want to bother people. Why am I worried about bothering other people? Well, you know, I want to keep my friends, I want to make a bad mood. Well, why do you want friends that wouldn't want you standing up for yourself? And so on. You keep questioning and questioning all your feelings and emotions until you get a response you yourself is satisfied with. Yeah, this takes a long time. Yes, it's hard to address some of these feelings, but guess what? You'll grow from it. And we'll take that bad experience we had into a learning one, instead of holding on to it and feeling pity of over ourselves. That's not what a man does. A man needs to address his situations, but does so internally. Suffer in silence, because only from yourself will you find your actual answers. Another thing you need to realize is that emotions aren't dumb. There's a reason you're feeling what you're feeling. You're feeling something because of a logical response. But just know you're feeling it for a reason. Always remember that emotions are strangely logical. So by talking to them and figuring them out, just like you would with a friend, will help you out guaranteed in whatever situation you find yourself in. Always look to talk to yourself internal motivation and internal learning beats any form of external. Another thing I want to say, I believe a lot of people wrongfully now are being shunned away from religion and being shunned away from God. And I think that's a common movement in making men weaker and keeping you down. So I want to keep this short. Look up towards God for answers. Don't be afraid to explore these questions, explore your relationship with God. All these things takes time. I think everything happens for a reason, so don't be afraid to reach up to God, to talk to God, and really dive yourself deep in, especially if you're younger and very confused about things that have been told religion is a bad thing. I think you should look into this yourself and not rely on other people's opinions about religion. It really helped me out, guys. Remember, God is with you.